We have a look down here. He's gone for he's it. He's gone down it's... the inside. Yeah, he's gone for it this time. But two spells still going to have the inside. No, no, he does stick gone. it in there. Oh, it's so uh, oh. clumsy. He's back through though, and Gills is right back in the battle. Premium entertainment. We all know. <laughs> Caesar is going to be fuming. He's got the better run into the tunnel, though. He's down the outside of what will be the, uh, oh, the chicane. Oh, he's been in this contact, and they're in the wall. And Gilzo gets through. Yeah, Caesar and two spell. It was only a matter of time, and Gilzo's got into P3. The perfect thing for him. Uh, and the Hapuli boys closed right behind. It was inevitable, I'm afraid. And welcome to round 18 of the late breaking online racing league here on the F1 2018 game and we're here at Monaco. The track is infamous around the world for being one of the most difficult circuits to master and the winners list around here proves that. To list off a few names of the winners around here would be a who's who of history's greatest drivers. Senna, Schumacher, Hamilton and let's not forget Jarno Trulli. The track, although nimble and narrow, runs you through a real variation of track types, undulating hills in turn 2 past Beau Rivage, or through the tunnel down to the Nouvelle Chicane, where you are greeted by millions of pounds of yachts who are eagerly awaiting for you to emerge over 100 or 80 miles an hour right in front of their eyes. One of the toughest challenges when racing in the streets of Monte Carlo is moving up the green. Nowhere in the world is it harder to make a move stick than here, who failed attempts over the ages have led to crash after crash after crash. Saint Devot and the Nouvelle Chicane are the two most ideal places to make a move here. But if you've really got balls, you can get past elsewhere if you know how to make it stick. Of course, the jewel in the Formula 1 crown poses a real threat to the car at every turn. And Nou managed to navigate all its sins clearly and avoid the wreckage, leaving him to win last season. But, not before he lapped the entire grid. With 19 corners squeezed into this 3.3km circuit, with 10 corners to the right and 9 to the left. Ben, is strategy key to winning here in Monaco? Well, things are likely to get frantic, so you need a lot of skill and a fair bit of luck as well, as Noob did last year. He was able to avoid the chaos, uh, and then when he was away from that chaos, he was able to build a gap and that's what you really need to do. It, it's staying away from as many cars as you can. Not an easy thing to do around Monaco, but it is doable. Um, will any of the 18 guys be able to do that today? We're on board with Ricky. He's the first guy out. He's on the super soft tire. Three compounds available this weekend. The hyper soft, the ultra soft, and the super soft. Now, they say that that Haas looks dull, but I think it looks gorgeous under the glistening lights of Monaco at night. It looks so good, and let me tell you that visibility around here at night time is pretty difficult. I'll be amazed if we see a grid get round here for one lap without anyone hitting a wall. Yeah, we've increased the challenge for somewhere that really didn't need an increase of challenge, but that's what we're like here at Late Breaking. We're evil. We are plain evil. <laughs> You need some clear space to get a quali run in, but if you're a car that isn't on a flying lap, it's really difficult to get out of the way. Yeah, I think uh, flat out on the mat out is the best way to go about the qualifying lap here in Monaco. And Ricky is trying to navigate it with half a broken front wing, a valiant effort. He's got everything turned up still, so he's looking like he's really going for it, which is what we like to see. Jago's also on a lap, but he's got about three cars, but he's about to come up on as well. This. It's going to be tricky to get a lap in here today. Yeah, Jake Ghosts, he could well take the championship lead today. Oh, oh and there traffic. you go. Ooh. Yeah, as get you're saying. It. Yeah, Jake Ghosts, he could take the championship lead today. He's 10 points behind Caesar T. Payne, who has the lead. He's held the lead since mid October. 13 consecutive weeks Caesar T. Payne has been on top. But if Jay Ghost is able to win this race and Caesar T. Payne finishes worse than third, we will have a new leader. 
Good, good Psycho Sane coming around the last corner now. DRS open. ERS up to five. He's pushing it towards the line. Let's see what the lap's going to be. That's a 112. That's slow in comparison to Jago's 109, which is a good lap, but he's on the Hypersoft tyre. Mr. Addy making his debut, although his second place has quickly become fourth because Two Spell Wizard and Mainer on the same tyre have gone slightly quicker, particularly Two Spell. A 1108 on the Ultra Soft tyre. Well, someone who has been at the front since they joined the league is Nova Vess, and he is coming round the final corner. Let's see what he can do at front of the grid. Can he make his presence felt as he has done so previously? And he yeah. slots in there into pole position with a 1096. One and a half tenths in front of Jago's. What a lap from the Toro Rosso driver. I was going to say, he has the fastest time trial of anyone, and quite comfortably too, by four tenths of a second. And he's proving that with that provisional pole lap time of a 1096. Pretty close stuff between the two of them out front, and of course they are on that hyper soft tyre where doing a one stop is more difficult. Oh, DJ Marshall has tapped the wall on his outlap. He told me before the race that he just wasn't feeling planted, he wasn't feeling comfortable. Obviously he had a great race last year in Monaco, came into second place. He wasn't expecting it, he said it before the race he was very nervous about it, delivered a consistent result. Right here though. He's got traffic in front of him, he's looking like he's a little bit shaky, can he deliver a result and possibly beat his teammate around here? Yeah, DJ Marshall, he's got business to attend to, he's 6th place in the championship, but he's got Gilzo just one point behind him and Mayna a further two points back, so that fight over 6th place might be really interesting until the end of this season. Of course, just four races to go, we've got Monaco, Britain, Azerbaijan and Belgium is the finale. Will the championship I mean, could you ask down? for a better better lineup than those four races yeah it is going to be a frantic race to the death dj marshall going through the tunnel section now as he'll approach out of the tunnel into the nouvelle chicane that's turns nine and ten and oh that looked like yeah. a little bit of a corner cut there that could be the yeah, he's turned his ERS right down that's the lap over for him that's the number one place where it's easy to cut the corner and now ricky you saw him start the lap and oh we see him finish the lap he's very nearly bend it a couple of times uh, but he does cross the line into p4 just behind his teammates a 111 but that is on the super soft tire good lap yeah puli boy slots himself into p5 so it's a good opening gambit for him main is not going to race of five 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 goes into eighth place there just behind main and in front of your hangers these guys going on the hyper softs, I, I really don't know if a one-stop race is uh, doable on if you're starting on that tyre. It does wear away really oh, quickly. Twitch! Twitch! Just, Ricky's on straight into the wall. Full pelt there. That was a huge crash that Gilzo just got away with. We were on, on board for that as well. He, he missed the hairpin, missed the chicane, straight into the wall. That, oh! Oh! That half goes through. Thank God for the ghosting system because that could have been terrible. That would have been a red flag in real life. A huge incident. Oh, yes. We just come across it there. As we were on board with Mainer's lap. Um, good thing for Ricky, of course, is he has set that lap time, which will stand. But considering how close he was to binning it a number of times, and then he did bin it, it doesn't bode too well for 38 laps of this race. Uh, Mainer is not quicker, he's three times slower. DJ Marshall, in the meantime, got into P7. Yeah, Someone to keep your eyes on as well is second place man Jagos who is on a very rapid lap. He's just navigated the second chicane well. He's coming to Raskas for the start of the first right hander. He's looking good. He's lining up the second right hander now. He's flowing it through there beautifully. Over to Jairus. Will this be a better lap than what he's done already? Eight, nine. Oh, it's not. He goes pole. It is. He goes pole by a massive amount. What a lap there from Jagos on the Hypersoft side. But as you said, then a one stop is going to be tough for those guys. Yeah, Jay Ghost really showing his worth and the circuit that you can really compare Monaco to is Singapore. Jay Ghost won that race, so he might have a bit of a thing for these uh, tight, twisty circuits. Uh, sorry, we're just witnessing Gilzo potentially on a lap, but he went into the pits. I think he validated it. I think he cut a corner. Uh, a bit of deja vu here from last week because the three guys who haven't set a lap time are the same three who didn't set a lap time until the end uh, in the in China. Uh, Caesar, Gilzo yes. and Jack Hickey. Psycho Sen goes into fourth place there with a good lap on the Ultrasoft tyre. Two spell the leaders of the Ultrasoft runners. I think it's looking positive for them. Oh! Um, Psycho Sen on board with him and he's taking his wheel out on the outside of the casino corner. That is terrible for Psycho Sen. He's going to only get the best of fourth place there. And that means if Caesar gets in front of him, his title chances really are over.
Yeah, that'll be interesting to watch out for. Two Spell Wizard is coming up to the line now. He's working on a 110 one at the moment and he improves, but it's not enough to get him any higher up. He improved by about three temps, but a 109.8. He sits in behind Jay Ghost and Nova Vest, who are currently set to occupy that front row. Johanna's improved. Yes. His Purple Petra, we're on board with now. He's uh, navigating through the docks area, going nicely past all the gorgeous yachts that are all animated for us. He hits the left hand and well, rolls it against the wall very close. He's three cents up through that sector, that's looking great for him. Can he make any positions up? He's on the super soft tyre, which is unusual for Purple Vector. He usually likes the softest compound. He's gone through Raskas and now he's coming up to the final corner. Oh, oh he's hit the wall! Oh, that is disaster striking oh, there for Purple Vector. He loses the back end and touches the wall. Oh, and he nearly hits a red ball coming out of the pits there. That really would have been disastrous. Purple Petrol must be listening to our advice and our commentary because we did comment on his uh, tendency to go out on the softest tyre and he's gone the opposite so far today. Yeah. It's nice to see people mix it up. Maybe he's playing the strategists. Maybe he's trying to confuse his opponents. <laughs> Maybe. Anyway, on the super soft tyre, he's definitely not going to reach the heights that he did last time out in qualifying. He started P3, his best ever qualifying position. Currently 11 places further down than that. Um, Hapuli this is Boy, a, we're this on is a tough him. one, yeah. For, just going to say, Hapuli Boy right behind DJ Marshall. DJ Marshall's on an outlap. Hapuli Boy is on a timed lap. Let's see how this works out. Can DJ Marshall get out of the way? We got yellows in every sector then. That was unbelievable. It's Good. the most Monaco thing you've <laughs> ever seen. <laughs> Yellows all round. Yep. As DJ Marshall's not really getting out of the way. This is not helping her booty boy at all. To be honest, I think the safest thing to do is for DJ Marshall to go as quickly as possible and then maybe get out of the way here at the Nouvelle Chicane. Uh Hippoli Boy and he is going to do that. Hippoli Boy I That is that is really good from DJ Marshall actually. It's clever, yeah. Um and Hippoli Boy can continue on with his lap. He's on the ultra soft tires still. Um so he's should oh, be sticking to a one stop. So close to that wall. That was fantastic from Hapuli Boy. Let's hope the lap time isn't invalidating. It's looking good so far for the, the McLaren driver, whose teammate is singing Pruggy in first. He's got two seconds to make up to get anything close to him. Can he do so? And he does oh. improve. He goes up to P4, so not quite up there with his teammate, but it's competitive nonetheless. And after finishing ninth in the last three Grand Prix, Hapuli Boy, starting in P4 at the moment, has given himself a good opportunity. Now DJ Marshall, well, who we saw getting out of the way, he's on a lap. Oh, yeah, he's got Hapuli Boy in front of him again, so the roles have reversed. DJ Marshall's helmet and car looking glorious in the nighttime Monaco scene at the moment. He's really on the back of Hapuli Boy. He's going, oh, he's oh, had to back out yeah. of the lap. Hapuli Boy has got in the way there. That is unfortunate. Hickey, on the other hand, just jumped into eighth place. Yeah, Hickey getting a lap time on the board. Uh, we, Oh, and Mayna's six temps up as he's going towards the line. This could be a big improvement from him. And Mayna goes oh. into P4. He's displaced to Pooley Boy. Mayna getting involved in the action. Uh, we've lost Addy as well there. I don't know if that's on purpose or not, but... Wait and see. Four of 18 are out with just over three minutes to go. Easy dibbling. Sorry, it's easy dibbling. He's on all that for now. Don't be mean to T3 Criblin. I think Nova Vess is on another lap. I think he's gone for two laps in a row. He's got Jack Hickey's moved out of the way. He's going through the tunnel section. I think he's got Gilzo in front of him. Uh, VP seems to be improving quite a bit, actually. He was three temps up through the oh, first no! two sectors. Nova Vess takes his tyre out there, and Hickey's had to avoid action there, as was the Williams behind. That is drama there on the front row of the grid. Second place oh, has dear. DNF from qualifying. So that means Nova Vest, Psycho Sane and Ricky are all not going to be contenders for pole. Jago's chances of starting first have improved massively, although two spell, Mayna, Hapuli Boy, they're all still there. I've and had Gilzo's all of these got into P4. Hello, Gilzo. On the ultra soft tyre as well. I tell you what, I thought Caesar T Pain strategy was going to be different today. With the nature of Monaco's circuit, he would have been would have been handy to get in a lap early, but yet again he's leaving it to the last moment. It didn't pay off yeah, for the Yeah, he's got time for this lap and one more lap. And you're right, mate, didn't got power from China. If he keeps going on this way, Jago's is his main rival who sits in the current pole position slot. Can he nail anything together? Will it be validated? Or will he start from 18th place on the grid in Monte Carlo? Uh, I don't know about you. I think he's taking it rather conservatively. Is this on purpose, do you think? I think he's just making sure that he's hitting all the corners and making sure that he does actually get a lap time in. 
that would serve him well even if it only gains him a few positions Gilzo has retired from P4 whether that's because of a crash or whether he can't improve who knows uh, but he won't be getting pole position as well this is looking increasingly good for Jago as we enter the final minute of qualifying here, night time at Monaco in the F1 2018 game. Let's see what Caesar T-Pain can do. Our current championship league, it goes through Raskas. It's nice and clean so far. He's got everybody in front of him. Maybe he'll pick up a little bit of slipstream on that back start figure straight. He's coming down now through the final corner. It's really not that, well, P6, it's, it's better than what I thought it was going to be, actually. It's on the ultra soft tyres. Yeah, that is a decent lap from Caesar T-Pain, and he puts himself in a much better position to the start of this race, but he also has not been able to displace Jay Ghost. Jay Ghost going for pole number five of the year, and it's becoming increasingly likely as we go. I think his teammates. Two Spell just improved, I think, but he set the same lap time as Nova Vess. Oh, oh, and that's a pub, that was Pub Petrol in the barrier, I think, then. Doesn't matter, the session's almost done. DJ Marshall's had enough. We're on board with Jay Ghost, though. Can he improve? I saw Williams getting Larry. <laughs> it's all going off here. This is vintage Monaco as Jay Ghost goes towards the line, and he improves oh, by about boom. a tenth, making the challenge for those behind him even more difficult. Two Spell Wizard is one tenth up on his lap, so he might be competitive as we're on board with him as he goes through the Nouvelle Chicane, and he's coming up to Tabac, and then the swimming pool. He has got a Renault not too far away from him, so he needs to be careful it's quick from two spell he's managed to maneuver those corners expertly three corners to go he's in p3 at the moment he's looking for pole position number two for the year it's all smooth it's all quick is it enough to go ahead of jay ghosts no he goes into p2 just two times slower and that is it oh no we've got mainer on a lap mainer is still on a lap and he's, he's going quicker yeah, Mega is speeding through the lap so far, and just what that will happen, Caesar T-Pain has jumped up into fourth place, so a good lap from Caesar. Mega coming around the last corner now, he opens his DRS, it's all looking like it's tidy, can he improve on P7? He does! It's P5 for Mega, he stops in behind Caesar. That means that Jay Ghost will start the Monaco Grand Prix from pole. best place to be in Monaco looking at all the cars behind you Jay Ghost leads the guys away on the formation lap pole position number five on the year for him and it's two spell wizard on the front row with him and then in behind is Nova Vess no race wins so far but he's been close will today be the day he breaks through the barrier Caesar T-Pain on the ultra soft tires most importantly is in P4 really good starting possession for him Mayna starts from P5 Gilzo starts from P6 and then Johannes starts from P7 so that's seven different constructors making the top seven Apuli boy is on the ultra soft tires in p8 psycho sane in p9 and then ricky's going to start in p10 that rounds out the top 10 and then racer 555 jack kicky dj marshall starts p13 addy starts from p14 in his debut nelez is p15 Walters is in p16 vp giblin in the penultimate position in p17 and then purple petrol from p18 in monaco it seems unlikely he'll take his first race win today. And the first few guys are in position, ready for their challenge as they head towards Sandovot. Um, could be a very, very interesting turn one. I seem to recall turn one last year was not as bad as we thought it was going to be, but this is an all new year. And this is Monaco. This is Monaco. This is round 18 of the late breaking online racing league. 18 guys vying for victory. Jay Ghost is on your left in the McLaren. On your right is Two Spell Wizard. Both going into Santa Vot. Who's going to get the better start? It's good from Jay Ghost. Nova Vess has got Two Spell off the line and he jumps into P2. And the other guys file in behind. Doesn't seem if anyone has crashed early on. Pretty clean stuff, actually. None of the positions have really changed. DJ Marshall's lost a few at the back. But most guys are staying in the positions that they started in. The Red Bull of Mena getting a bit leery behind Caesar T-Pain. And that might open it up for Gilzo oh. to give it a go up the inside. And that's effective stuff from him. Although Mena, no, he won't fancy a go back. Nova Vest gets P2 off the start. That's the big talking point. Yeah, so they're... Oh, oh the Ferrari goes straight oh, into the no. back. Oh, and it's carnage there at the classic Lowe's hairpin. Yeah, carbon fibre flying all over the place, but we still do have 18 runners as they head down to the Nouvelle Chicane for the first time today, the first of 39 attempts. Uh, Jay Ghost gets through it cleanly. He's got about a half a second advantage over Nova Vess. Early days, of course, but if things stay the way they are, he will have the championship lead at the end of the day. 
Yeah, looking positive for the McLaren driver. And of course, Constructors Championship is all to play for still. McLaren looking good here, but Salva are on the horizon. As a Toro Rosso, uh, the closest we got to a crash at the start of the lap was a Ferrari on the first corner. We had a little bit on the oversteer, nearly hit the, uh, the inside wall, but all is good. That's the cleanest we've pretty much ever seen Monaco, and that's with 18 drivers. That's the cleanest we've ever seen a first lap, mainly against the three second penalty. Just to, you know, I want to get a Oh, dear. Seconds. No, so they're both in the pits. Yeah, they're both in the pits. I think that's obviously that car park we had at, uh, at the Lowe's hairpin. Yeah, the slowest. Gil Gilzo is right on the back of Caesar T Payne here as they are both on the back oh, of T Payne, which are almost touching. Yeah, and Johannes has lost a few places actually, so he must have been involved in something. Uh, Hapuli Boy and Sokosen have both got past him. Nova Vess is not letting Jay Ghost go anywhere. Still half a second away from the leader. They are nose to tail around the streets of Monaco. As are the three behind them. This is vital for Caesar T Pain to make up positions. As hard as it's going to be. Does he play the long game? Does he hope to overextend and do the overcut in his pit strategy and come out in front of traffic? That are the, those are the mind games oh. you have to play here around Monaco. What a great oh. run on two spell out of the uh, out of the swimming pool there, but he can't do it. Can't do anything with it. It's Monaco. Well, this is something of driving deja vu because we saw Caesar T Pain locked up behind two spell for pretty much the entire first half of last race, and now he's caught up behind him again. And the top two have extended a bit of a gap. And Hapuli Boy is going to file in behind, as we will see that often enough today. A uh, big question in this first stint is those on the Hypersoft, oh, Ooh, are those on the Hypersofts going to be able to keep the temperature of their tyres down? Uh, maybe Main is struggling with his as Hapuli Boy might fancy an attempt here, possibly the best overtaking place on circuit. Oh. He's gone up the inside, but because of the way that the two corners work, Main has been able to stick it in there. And Hapuli Boy, unless he tries something into Tabak, which he doesn't, stays in P7. Psycho Sane watching on with delight. If Caesar T-Pain survives this battle with two spell without any front wing damage, I will be surprised. Although maybe we shouldn't be after what happened last time out. He is still only two temps away from two spell. It's just going to be so difficult to pick your opportunity to get past. Yeah, two spell who had a blister in qualifying and came so close to catching pole. Uh, looking a little slow, it almost seems to be the cork in the bubble neck. And it looks as though Caesar and Gills are really caught up behind him. Got a good he goes the move though. again. And he's he thinks better of it and two spell was he's a bit clumsy on the exit, but he couldn't take advantage of it. Sykusen is right behind Mayner and he gets in for P7. Is that round that the is a great move there from Sykusen. It was round the outside back onto the inside. That's a great move for the Mercedes driver. Disgusting. Addy, our new boy, gets a uh, three second time penalty. Yeah, down there Caesar is Caesar is trying to go round the outside of Raskas. I commend his bravery. We've got DRS <laughs> though. This is going to be a nice little run. And two spells going to defend the inside, which leaves. Caesar with no real option but to try something around the outside and unsurprisingly doesn't really work. Maida and Nellez are into the pits, uh, maybe front wing changes for the both of them. And he's going to make up a lot of places. Pearl Pearl Petrol Petrol's tie from the session. He's hit the wall. That is devastating for the Mercedes driver. We've got our first lapped car as well. Orchards yeah. has got a three second time penalty as well and he's just been lapped by the uh, battle for third. Yeah. And VP Giblin. Ben, yeah. you, you, your pens are going to run out of this way, mate. Oh, don't worry, I've got plenty to spare. Uh, VP Giblins doesn't matter anymore because he's retired from the session as well. So two have uh, gone down in a matter of moments. The battle for P3 rages on and it's <laughs> it's really not very quick around that hairpin. It's about 30 miles an hour at the moment. I mean, I could go faster than my Skoda. I would highly Oh, Caesar's that. alongside in the tunnel. Caesar's oh. alongside in the tunnel. He's oh. hit the wall. Dangerous stuff from Caesar T Pain. He's, he's got for it this got... time. And, and he, he just can't do it. The squeeze is immense, and Gilda's right on him, but I don't think he can do anything with it. Fair play to Caesar T Pain. He is leaving as much space as he can as he tries to get past two spell. Seriously, yeah, he's driving ben, very he's fairly. He's head. clearly learnt the lesson that he's been reporting a couple of times. He's driving a stellar race at the moment. It's so hard to attack around Monaco. Clearly the easiest place to defend, although we do know that Two Spell is a magician when it comes to defending a position. That right. Yeah. Well, that's position. <laughs> well, Monaco does obviously help in his defensive work, but yeah, we do know from last race he, he can defend a position when he wants to. Yeah, 
Oh, oh what season near? Oh, Gilzo has a cheeky look down the inside as well of Raskas. Don't think it worked, did it? It certainly didn't, as he's gone back to a second away from this group. Uh, and unsurprisingly, Hapuli Boy is starting to close in. He was about four and a half seconds oh. behind. Now it's only about 2.7. They do have the Renault of Orchards in the middle of them though. He's done well to get out of the way so far. Hopefully no complications are there. And Caesar is literally pushing two spell through this section of the track. You have a look down here. He's gone he's for it. He's gone down it's... the inside! Yeah, he's gone for it this time, but two spell's still gonna have the inside. No! No! He does stick gone. it in there! Oh, it's so uh, oh. clumsy. He's back through though, and Gills is right back in the battle. Premium entertainment. <laughs> Caesar is going to be fuming. He's got the better run into the tunnel, though. He's down the outside of what will be the, uh, oh, the chicane. Oh, he's been in this contact, and they're in the wall. And Gilzo gets through. Yeah, Caesar and Two Spell. It was only a matter of time, and Gilzo's got into P3. The perfect thing for him. Uh, and the Hapuli boys closed right behind. It was inevitable, I'm afraid. Again, for, for the second week running, it was inevitable, and Two Spell's still just in front of him. Who Hapuli has wing. damage? One of them definitely has front wing damage. I think they both have. I think they both. Uh, Caesar T-Bane definitely has got front wing damage, but it's not too bad. And two, two spells spell, in. Oh, yeah, they're both oh. into the pits. And I think Caesar's been kind of pushed into the pits there. They were yeah, I think in that the was a... as well. They were yeah, in. He's going to try the undercut, I reckon. Yeah, trying the undercut on Jay Ghosts. Uh, well, will Novavess out. come out in traffic? That's the issue. He looks like he is. He's hit the wall on the air. He's lost oh, front no. wing. Novavess is destroying his front wing, coming out of the pit lane. And he comes out behind Ricky. That's a disaster. What a clumsy That's way to race over. front wing. Action kicking off all over the track here in Monaco at night. DJ Marshall had a quiet race so far. He's just ticking along nicely behind Hickey. Yeah, I think Racer 555 is holding up the both of them really and preventing them getting anywhere near the likes of Psycho Sane and Hapuli Boy in front. Uh, Jack Hickey, it seems, has been stuck behind Racer 555 for about a decade, but still only about four. Jay Ghost is in. Jay Ghost is in. Let's see if he comes out of traffic and let's see if anyone can cause anything to destroy this lead that he's built up. Nova Vess is no longer a competitor. He cannot catch the leader surely with that broken front wing. He will surely have to pit again. Is this going to be a slam dunk for Jay Ghost and will he take the championship lead easily tonight? Maybe so and Jay Ghost has gone onto the super soft tyres so he might be trying a one stop here and taking those super soft oh, tyres a long, just long way. Get out of oh, Hickey in, oh. Boys, oh, oh no. the battle was oh. taking a turn for the worse and race of 555. Luckily for Jay Ghost he has come out ahead of him uh, and Jack Hickey in the, in the wars. That, that was, was pivotal for Jay Ghost's race. If he got stuck behind those it could have been all over and Gilzo could have had the best chance to win this. So it seems if Jago's and Novavest are on the same strategy, Novavest didn't pit at the end of the lap, so he might just be braving it out. DJ Marshall is in a rather lovely Toro Rosso sandwich, and he gets a nudge from Novavest, who is still struggling with that slightly broken front wing. Yeah, as he makes contact with the wall twice there. Wait, like a pinball. Oh, Addy's out. New and boy. And Hapuli boy picks up his second penalty. We said this would be a battle of attrition, and it is proving to be just that. Hapuli Boy is into the pits quite early. Oh, oh, oh there's a big oh. pile up. It's Orchard's trying to get out of the way, and he spun. Spun at Antonio's corner. Who hit him, though? Was it Racer 555? Have they all got damage? They did. I, oh. And Ricky's decided he's had enough. And he doesn't even retire properly. Good. That's a, oh, there you go. <laughs> okay. Jay Ghost is Ghost. going down the inside of Psycho Sane, going around the tunnel. This is very close stuff between oh. the two of them. Second and third in the championship. Jay Ghost goes for the lunge and he's got the position. Psycho Sane almost backing out of that rather cleverly to get the better run in the corner. And they're still side by side. Gilgo Jay Ghost just up. getting in front before the corner. Gilgo picks up a three second time penalty, which will hurt oh, his chances. That will he? Caesar T playing. Is really trying to get down the inside of Nellos there. He's once again stuck behind another Ferrari powered car. It's just not looking good at the moment for Caesar. It looks as though he will lose the championship unless Jay goes bings it. His mate two spells just up the road as well, which will please him no end. Yeah. This has worked out perfectly for Jay Ghost. Monaco is all about track position. And Jay Ghost, after spending the first 10 laps in the lead of this race, has come out and he's already in P2 with the next car 10 seconds ahead of him. He's, he's got a clear track again. 
Psycho Sane, Racer 555 and Jack Kiki are all separated by 8 tenths. This is another crazy queue and we can see some devastation here for one of these three if they're not careful. Psycho Sane looking a little slow at the moment. Yeah, he's dropped back a lot. Jack Hickey, can it be this time that he makes the lunge? And race a 555. Five, five. Oh. oh, not going to compromise at all. Oh. And Psycho Sane's Psycho Sane's it. out. He's in the wall. Yeah, he had overheated tyres. He had 110 degrees on the front left. He's lost control of the car and he's put it in the wall. That is the Mercedes driver out and his championship dreams are done. Yeah, that might be it, especially with Jay Ghost in such a good position. There are still 100 points to play for but that might be it for the Mercedes of Psycho Sane. It becomes retirement number five of the day. We're a third of the way through this race. How many are we going to end with? So the team gets a nice little run on Nelez. Oh, it's, oh, it's oh. the squeeze. And Nelez fought his way to the death, but Caesar t Pain does get the position eventually, and he'll look to overtake Johannes now. Yeah, he just got overtaken by Two Spell Wizard, I think. And oh, oh, he's going down the inside already, and Johannes has had to move out of the way, I think, through front wing damage. So it's Caesar t Pain versus Two Spell Wizard oh, with Mayna just again. ahead. Oh, and uh, Nelez sneaks down the inside of Johannes as well. Oh, and two spells. Caesar team playing and two spells. Oh. Take a little bit funny, and they're right behind Mayna. Caesar's trying to look down the inside, and he thinks better of it. Although two spell does not go through there. There is a tire on the track. Thank God they goes through it. Oh, yeah, contact that's... there. Caesar team playing just hits the back of two spell. Looks like there was no damage. There you go. Red Bull, Haas, Salba, Ferrari separated by a few temps, and they're all battling over P7. Sorry, P6, I should say. Johannes has gone into the pits and the Haas was challenging Mayna but he can't get the position. Uh, two Orcters different is round at again at the uh, at the entrance to the tunnel. He's looking like a bit of a hazard now. Let's hope that he can uh, keep it together and have a good rest of the race. Well at the moment he's not even ahead of Psycho saying who's DNF'd. Oh he's oh, in again! Oh that's into oh, the back Nellis of him. Is Nellis is up the inside and Caesar t -Pay, and that has not worked out too well for him. And, and he's gone right into the back of him. Oh, it's all getting a bit clumsy out there now. Nellez gets three second time penalty. Still just sees a T-Pain. I hope you've done your GCSE math because there's a lot of times threes going on. Ben's going to have to get a new pen. It's, but is it, I can see his ink's almost run out. Uh, yeah. Oh! And Nellez. And oh, Nellez. Oh, 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 Nellez has hit two spells. Caesar's gone into the back of them. Couldn't avoid it. And a booty boy. Booty boy <laughs> a booty boy stuck on through. And Gilzo, oh. I don't know whether... Oh, no, he hasn't got into, round. Yeah, Gilzo from the lead of this race has spun around and his front wing looks okay. A race of 555 and Jack Hickey are looking at a podium spot now. The worst thing for Gilzo here, once again, as we've mentioned before, plenty of times, is the overheating of tyres. His back tyres are so hot, he's going to struggle to get round this lap without spinning out again. He's going to be very careful, and he's got the Williams and Hickey fighting hugely behind him. He's going to get to the pit lane very quickly, or cool those tyres down. And, oh, he's had enough. Caesar T-Pain is still running, but he has apparently left the session. No. Oh, and that's a cheeky move from Two Spell Wizard, who goes down the inside of Mayna. What a move going into the entrance of the tunnel. Can the Boy, Boy capitalise on the same thing? He can! He's gone down the inside too. What a great move from the Haas and McLaren Mayna there, losing out two positions. Zipping through the tunnel. Zippity doo da. Zippity through the tunnel. Oh, day. So 17 laps gone, Jay Ghost has the lead of this race um, and by 15 seconds as well. It's looking really good for him, particularly oh. because Caesar is out of the points and Psycho Sane has retired. Hickey's into the pits. There's Gilzo, he was leading the race not too long ago. He's in P8 at the moment and because of the... And there's more penalties that was a boy. And a hip, a boy. They, they come up so quickly you can't even see them. It is tough to keep up with everything that's going on here. Uh, Race of 555 is in. Let's see what happens between him and Hickey. As it's over this, actually. Yeah, that's a bit more surprising. So maybe that is a front wing change if he had damage. Uh, and that's Hapuli boy in as well. So three. This could be a second place for Hickey if he times it correctly. There's Race of 555. Yeah, Hickey's done it. And he's going to lose out oh, to Gilzo as well. 
Yeah, race of five, 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 five. And DJ Marshall, yeah, of course. Waiting that extra lap has really cost him because instead of being in P3, he's all the way down in P6 and he's got Gilzo and DJ Marshall up ahead of him. Now, oh, this no, is something oh, no, he hasn't. Gilzo's out. Gilzo has gone into the wall and he becomes the latest victim of the Monaco streets. Yeah, well, Racer 555 finds himself in the opposite situation that he was in for so long in this race, where he was the car about a few temps ahead of Hickey. Now he's the one hunting down someone else, in that case, DJ Marshall. It's over P4. How aggressive will Racer 555 be? We might right soon find him. out as he goes through the tunnel directly behind DJ Marshall. He goes to the outside. Oh! That doesn't work well at all. And DJ Marshall flies across. The Nouvelle Chicane he's picked up a penalty. Oh, which, that's cruel. Which seems harsh. But Racer 555 is not passed. DJ Marshall definitely has front wing damage. That is going to be devastating for the Salvador. Gunner. Something that really seems like it wasn't his fault in the slightest. Get one. Oh, and oh, Race, race has gone down for another oh. move. It's more contact between the two of them. DJ Marshall gets another penalty caused by an instant that feels like it wasn't his fault. It's, it's messy. It's messy, no doubt about that. Race of 555 wants to try his best to get up to Jack Kiki in P3, uh, but he just can't get past DJ Marshall. DJ Marshall doesn't pit. The battered Sauber continues on. It'll be interesting to see what the drivers time, have to say in the driver's conference after always oh, going down the inside. He's got the move done. No, yeah. There's contact oh, DJ on Marshall's exit. Still there. You know what they say, fourth time lucky around Monaco. <laughs> Race of 5 for 5 has picked up about six seconds there and Orctus, no, Orctus is gone. Orctus, <laughs> his He's retirement. Oh, oh, and the ghost of... What? The ghost of Caesar T-Pain has just crashed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're so sorry, Caesar, that your ghost version of yourself is no, not living up to who you really yeah. are. <laughs> Most versions of ghosts can go through walls, but Codemasters <laughs> ghosts, they can't go through anything. Um, Nellez has picked up a five second time penalty for uh, avoiding, uh, was it ignoring a yellow uh, flag? Yeah, it was, yeah. Who God only knows. Probably because he overtook the ghost of Mr. T Pain. It was on a wall. Who knows? Just want we, to reiterate: started... a ghost who has no physical features crashed. <laughs> we started with 18. We're down to nine because Caesar T Pain's ghost is in the pit lane. Um, Why? I, I can't is, this, believe this I'm saying is, this. He's having a front wing change. <laughs> a driver who is not there. A car that has no physical properties to it is getting a front wing change. It's crashed in the pit lane! It hit the wall! Well, he's still in P10. It's going well. Melez picked up a three second penalty Ooh. in his pursuit of Mena. And it's always oh, very close, but Melez gets very Larry out of the corner there. Yeah, Nellers has got a lot of penalties racked up. I think it's about 17 seconds worth now. And Mayner, whilst he's not doing particularly well in that department, he's doing better than that. <laughs> he's not quite as bad. And Hapuli Boy is catching them, isn't he? Yes, he is, well, yeah. Um, Nellers still right behind Mayner. He's being cautious here. Got a nice little run, but yeah, nowhere to go. Yeah, Mayner instinctively defending the inside of that corner. One of the very few opportunities on this oh. racetrack. And the tyres brush, but no front wing damage. All of this bringing Hippuna Boy into the action. Yep, the two of them following them through Portier as they go into the tunnel. We've already seen two massive incidents in the tunnel today. Let's hope this isn't oh, a free peak, run. but... Yeah, Nellez has got a beautiful run as he goes to the outside and he's going to break as oh. late as he can. And he's in the wall! Oh, he's in the wall! Nellez That's game is over for the out. Ferrari driver. And that's going to be eighth place for DJ Marshall. A tiny bit of redemption. And that makes Jago's life just that little bit easier. Oh, at the moment, so. Sector two, there's a yellow. Oh, it's Mayna! He's oh, round! It's Mayna! I can't believe that I said it. Commentator's curse has happened once again. And DJ Marshall moves into seventh place. Yeah, he avoided Mena, but got another penalty in the process. He's only got, I think, six seconds of actual penalties for he has served. He's stopped going for anything. Johannes is into the pits. This guy is, who, is who's going to come out on top? Johannes looks like he's going to come out actually quite comfortably ahead of DJ Marshall, but he will Jay have to let Jay goes through. Yeah, so Johannes comes out just in front of the leader. That's a bit Ooh. squeaky. 
and he's just gonna have to follow him through and yeah Johannes gets out the way where it but that widens. DJ Marshall plays right up to the back of him yeah just half a second between them and DJ Marshall's only been on these tires for five laps Johannes is absolutely fresh it's interesting is it Hickey hasn't had the best of luck this season he's not picked up a win this year but you know the the wise old head of the <laughs> league Jack Hickey stayed out of trouble he was stuck it, behind race of 5 5 for ages but a bit of strategy play and he's into a podium he position he is the league elder isn't he yeah yeah in veteran <laughs> yeah to, for lack of a better term he is the wise old sage isn't he <laughs> stop, stop it at this point in the race we would say that Gilzo is going to go on some hyper soft tyres and set a fastest lap but obviously he's binned it he has binned it I know he didn't really like my uh, bottle comment last week, so I'd just like to reiterate, he has bottled it again. <laughs> you thought that was going to be an apology, you were wrong. Menger closing the gap down to six tenths, he's really not letting it go. Although Menger has many more penalties than DJ Marshall, uh, so if they stay well, together, DJ Marshall will take it. DJ Marshall's actually got two seconds more than Menger because of that those incidents that he had with Racer 555. I thought he had two six seconds and one stop-go penalty that he's... So oh, I thought he only had six seconds overall. Served, yeah, oh, in that case, yeah, Mayna has got three seconds more. Yeah, he has served the, the five seconds. I thought he'd gone into the pits after that had happened. Not quite that many, but again, not far Oh, off. oh and oh, Mayna survives, but Mayna only just. Lost a bit of front wing. Well, that could be the battle taken away from us before we even got to see. Yeah, he's into the pit lane. That is the battle over. Well, the guy's on circuit other than, uh, well, this lap. there he goes, this lap. hyper soft Fast tires go lap. on. Love it. Well, the good news is well, he can go this could it be because he's done enough of the race to pick up points. Yeah, things stay as they are, Jay goes, oh, Jay goes it oh, Mina. Right, it'll get go in, in the pit, again. Who the set of tires? God's sakes, man. Yeah, and now Mina, <laughs> will we see him go into the pits and try again? The last race ended with that. No, he's staying out. It. He's staying out. Here we go then. Is this going to be a fastest lap? I'm kind of doubting it now, but here Let's we go. Let's stay on board with him. Let's stay on board with him now. Main with the broken front wing. He navigates the first corner well, actually. Hits the apex and drives off nicely. He's using his full ERS around here. That's what we like to see. He has got no hold bars. And he's Whoa. running along the wall. That was close. That was close, but Mayna has navigated the first sector okay. Now he goes through the super low speed middle set. He's not even up on his previous best time, actually, and I, I don't think this is going to be a fastest lap. I stick with it. I reckon, I reckon he, can, he can claw it back. You, we'll... You've got faith, all right? I, I, if he shortcuts if he shortcuts out of the tunnel, I think he can do it. If he just, yeah, just cut the chicane, Mayna, it'll be fine. It won't be Here we fine. go, come on mate, straight terrible. over, straight over. Damn it. Nope, oh. he down. has uh, taken the corner surprisingly. Uh, you know, big shock. I'm really sick of this good behaviour from Mango. Oh, he's touched the wall there again. That corner is not his favourite. He's now eight temps down on his best lap time. You know what, I, I just don't think this is going to happen in this last tiny third sector. Do you not? No, I really don't. You've got no faith, mate. No faith whatsoever. Two laps to go for Jay Ghost at the front. Um, if nothing changes, and to be honest, with two laps to go, it doesn't yes, look Yes, Mayna! As, that's nothing to cheer about! It didn't do it. I'm really <laughs> disappointed that he hasn't done it. <laughs> right, Jay Ghost, with a win, he's going to move on to 240 points. Caesar T Pain, with two points, is going to go on to 227. So, into the last three races of the year, Jay Ghost is going to take the championship lead for the first time since about October. Um, and 13 points is the gap. As he approaches Vasquez yes, for the final it. time, there's the first right-hander, it's done nicely. He comes through the second right -hander. oh, he's a little bit hesitant through there, as anyone would be, as they know. They're about to cross the line to win the Monaco Grand Prix! Yeah, and I'm not sure whether Johannes actually started that oh. next lap or not. And Johannes has retired from the session. I um, think he, did he unlap himself then and then manage to bin it? That was good. I think he's going to stay in that same position though, because DJ Marshall yeah. was a further lap down. Um, two Spell Wizard is going to be the next guy across the line. It looks as if it's just going to tick over 30 seconds. Uh, but Two Spell Wizard, he's fought well today, and the second place at Monaco is nothing to be ashamed about. Two Spell Wizard, P2 for Haas. 
Yeah, and then another further 19 seconds back is a fantastic recovery from our wise old sage, the LB vet, Jack Hickey in the Toro Rosso. He's going to finish in behind on track for Ghost of Caesar 2 playing, who's had a difficult race that will pick up two points. But across the line for the final podium spot is Jack Hickey. What a good race from him. And then that just leaves it to race of 555. He's had a brilliant race today and he's set to pick up his best race performance so far. And he's swerving as he crosses the line and so he should. Great stuff from him. And then Hopuli Boy will be the last in P5. And that's that done. Let's get to the Monogas podium. And there you go, the extra special Monaco podium. And it's McLaren who lead the way again. It's Jay Ghost who wins for the fifth time this year. He won after converting his pole position. And there alongside him is Two Spell Wizard, appropriately MP2. And Jack Hickey, yet another podium, but yet again, not on that top step. All British podium. And there's official confirmation of the result. Jay Ghost wins in Monaco and takes the championship lead with it. 13 points clear now of Caesar t -Pain. Two Spell Wizard in P2. Jack Hickey started outside the top 10. He finishes in P3. Race of 555 also started outside the top 10 and finishes P4. Hapuli Boy into P5. Johannes finishes P6. DJ Marshall picks up some more points for Alfa Romeo Salva in P7. Mayna in P8. Caesar t -Pain was the last finisher in P9 but didn't compete for much of the second half of the race. Nelez retired, as did many others, including Orcters. Nova Vest was looking good early on. So was Gilzo. He had the lead of the race at one point. Psycho Sane, Ricky, Addy, VP Giblin, and the first retirement was Purple Petrol. And that's going to do it from round 18 here in Monaco. Three rounds to go. The next one up is in Britain. It's at Silverstone. I've been Ben Hopping. I've been Harry Eads. And I've been Samuel Sage. And remember, keep breaking late.